Oh, wow. So this decorative wall, it, it really does screen off the street and creates this sort of peaceful buffer. Yes. You walk in from the street and you feel suddenly separated from it and part yes. of this amazing space in yes. here. Yeah, that's a clear purpose. It, it does make you feel like you're in a different world. You yeah. Know, once you come in here and yeah. And in a sense, that's what a church should do. It, it should take you out of the place of um, confusion and activity and center you back into something deeper in yourself. Wow. You know, I really love the curved lines of the balcony here. Yes, this is where people begin to feel the harmony of the space and the harmony within their own souls. Now, John, what would you say is distinctively Paul Revere Williams about this space? That curve we were just talking about on the balcony the is something that I see appear in lots of Paul Williams' work. Mm. He uses curves really beautifully in his stairways and doorways and in lots of details on ceilings. They show up everywhere. Well, this is a really interesting ceiling. It's, it looks like we're under a dome. Oh, right? it's like it represents the sky, the universe, and when the lightings are right, you'll feel like uh, you're under the great dome of the sky. Oh, so these lights are like stars. Yes, yeah. yes. But we're standing in a church that he designed. He was also, of course, involved in the, the joint venture that did LAX. He really also had this commitment to public and civic architecture. He did. Uh, he was a part of the team that designed the courthouse downtown. Right. He designed other churches as well, uh, schools for children, buildings on college campuses. So he was really designing buildings for lots of different kinds of people to go and have their day and uh, be part of LA life. He designed public housing projects. He designed planned communities. He designed things for all sorts of people within the population. You're beginning to see some of the complexities of the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's not a very ordinary man. He's very extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yes. Yeah.